please guys don't do this at home go to a professional the fact that i'm kind of getting there and i know that i'm kind of getting there this was a mistake to all the people that claimed that i never left my emo face you were right i'm sorry that i tried proving you wrong you were right i'm watching which is a regular place but i'm gonna have to stop that to do this i don't know what to say except hi and welcome back to another video this is gonna be a little bit different from the cosplay stuff because i had an idea and i was talking about it last night with my friend and i was like you know what like at the moment my brain's not like functioning well with like creative stuff so i haven't really been touching on the cosplay stuff for a couple of days mostly because of finals and yeah, basically that's it just finals so last night i redyed my hair somewhat the green is still picking in uh but yeah and i was talking to my friend while i was watching some um sam and colby videos uh from like the oh i was watching the videos from the meta life project and i just kept looking at colby and i kept thinking man he's so beautiful and he looks he like ever since i discovered sam and colby thanks to my little brother uh, I was like, Kobe's like that emo dude that I dreamt of, you know, and like whatever. And so I just started thinking about it. I, I was looking at his hair and I was like, oh, I love the way he's styling it. Like I wish like I was able to style my hair like that and all of that, right? So I started thinking about what I used to look like in middle school and high school. And um, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. And so I decided, I texted my friend and I was like, Hey, no, lies, my apologies. She texted me and she asked, so what are you doing? And I said, I'm debating on whether to make myself look like the emo person that I wanted to look like. And she was like, yeah, do do it, right? And so I was like, why don't I just do that into a video, right? Like maybe y'all can see me fail in doing this. Like I felt all those years or maybe I'll succeed. I don't know, we'll, we'll see it, right? We'll see it together. And so this is going to require a haircut because um, this hair makes me look like an anime boy. I mean. I look like I belong in a gay anime. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with being in Yaoi. I don't mind. But, um, no. And so basically, you're gonna watch me cut my hair, style it, do my makeup, and dress like I wanted to look back then. Because I'll show you all a couple of pictures of what I look like. And, um, I know, I know, I know, I, I know, and to all my friends that kept telling me that I looked good, you are, this is why I don't talk to half of y'all anymore, well, this is why I'm no longer friends with like half of y'all, actually I'm not even friends with any of y'all, I only have like, I still talk to like five of you, but it's okay, because because y'all have been keeping it real with me up till now. So, y'all better keep it real with this video too. You hear the little bell since Bonnie and she's playing with her teddy bear. So, uh, I guess let's go ahead and get started with this because this is gonna be very fun. Y'all are gonna see a camera change, probably a little bit of light lighting change. Sorry about that, but I need the mirror to do a haircut. I can't, I'm not gonna just do it here. So, uh, stick around with me for this. My mom got me a paleta. And these are so good like they're delicious okay let's start this I have my trash can in front of me i'm gonna cut this hair got my scissors don't play don't run around with scissors and i got my comb all right god it's been so long since i've done this okay okay Let's see, where do we start? Okay, first I gotta see how I'm gonna be styling it. So I think I'm gonna be doing this side. Alrighty, there we go. Bing! 
basically all I need is to cut my bangs, my fringe to um, how I'm gonna do it. I had to cut this shorter. I probably should have straightened my hair first. So dumb. Oh my god, this is giving me like very bad, bad flashbacks. To all my past emos and scenes, um, did y'all have like, did you want your hair to cover your eyes? And because that was a big struggle for me because I had glasses, so I was already blind, so I couldn't cover my eyes because <laughs> that wasn't gonna work out well. <laughs> Why? Why am I doing this again? I think I'm gonna style it and then continue cutting. Okay, so I decided to get my hair wet so I can go ahead and blow dry it in the direction that I'm gonna use. And I know I keep saying this, but I haven't done this in so long that it's so weird, just like, oh my God. Yeah, now doing like the swoop, like shorter to long and like the little um, pointed ends, that's when you have to like go in and trim it that way um, and depending on what side you want it on or whatever. So I don't know if you saw, but you can also do your, use your fingers, just do them sideways, and there. So this is where it's going to be shorter when you start trimming, and then it'll be longer in the end. This feels like I'm giving a tutorial like how I cut my emo hair, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, can you can we please bring those back, please? And how I do my emo makeup, how I do my C makeup, like oh please. And now I'm gonna show you how I pinned my hair to keep my Yeah. I remember when I first started off, um, I would watch a lot of videos like oh how to like keep it and a lot of people would be like, Oh you have to train your hair. And I was like, okay. So they're always recommended to like use bobby pins and like pin it. And like to like sleep like that, like style it like that every now and then so you can like your hair could get trained to stay like that. Let's get dressed first. There we go. So classic black group rights. Here's the rail, panic at disco, bullet for my valentine, Chelsea Grin, sorry for my shorts, or this other panic at the disco shirt. So, funny story about this actually. I was, I wanna say 10 years old, 10, 11, uh, when my mom got me this shirt. And because I listened to a lot of rock, but like I listened to a lot of hardcore rock screamo music, um, she saw this and immediately thought it was one of the bands I listened to. 
so she bought it for me and gave it to me and she was like oh look what i got you like uh. and then i was like oh that's so cool so i took the shirt and i was like who are they and then i searched them up and the beautiful brandon yuri came up on my screen and his angelic voice caressed me and put me to sleep every night and helped me wake up and rise with happiness every morning even though i was depressed and that is how i came to love brandon yuri so and Panic at the Disco. So if it weren't for my mom getting me this shirt, I probably would have never listened to Panic at the Disco. Or I would have, but very late. And then I tried to gain my confidence, so I ended up cutting it into a type of crop top. Um, but then I never used it again because I lost my confidence again. So I think we're gonna go with the Black Group Braids. Oh, I actually have another Black Group Braids shirt that I also cut up, and it was the first Black Group Braids shirt I ever got. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> God, guys, I, this was my first piece of Black Rope Rights merchandise and piece from Hot Topic. And I was in sixth grade. I was 11 years old. And this was when my mom started letting me go into Hot Topic. And this was the shirt I got. And she hated it. She hated it. But I loved it. It was just... Ah. I also had the Black Rope Rights backpack. Yeah, dude. I wonder what I ended up. We're going with this or not? I think we can go in with it. Let's go with it. And we can't forget our black skinny jeans. So I'm gonna get dressed and I'll be right back. Oof. Oof, I haven't slipped into skinny jeans in a while already. I've been wearing leggings already for a long time. So let's just go ahead and get started with the makeup. Now, I don't remember exactly how I did my makeup in middle school. To be completely honest, I just remember a lot of eyeliner. So I'm gonna try and recreate the black eyeliner. That's all I remember. I probably wear black eyeshadow to be honest, but I just can't. I can't recall. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of hoping my mom doesn't see any of this. Like, if I walk out, I hope she doesn't see me. Because I think she's just going to feel like she failed in life. She always hated this part of me. She hates every part of me. It's okay, because she's my mom, and I love her either way, and I know she loves me too. She just has a hard way of showing it. I, just, I feel like I'm bad body my mom on social media, I'm not. I Trust me, I'm not. All right, now contour. Wow, this really has turned into like an emo. I lost the word. Tutorial. I'm just gonna do my regular brows and even add my slit because why not? So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and get the eyeliner going. I am nervous because I'm. I haven't done my eyeliner in a while as well, and I also haven't done it in the camera, so I'm sorry if I mess up. Yeah. All right. I can do this. Actually, no, I can't. I can't. Actually, why don't we go in with this? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't even want to do this part on camera. I remember now because when my family would see me, they make fun of me and say, who punched you in the eyes? Yeah, but now I do bomb ass makeup and they asked me to help them with their makeup. <laughs> just saying, I'm just going with some black eyeshadow. coming back to me. Also, there were these girls in my band that I hated so much. I did band in middle school and I, I didn't like them and I wasn't the only one. And they would always tell me to stop wearing eyeliner because I have very pretty eyes and they're like, the black eyeliner makes them not pop out. So like, stop wearing it. 
and so I was like, yeah, I know you're totally right. I'm gonna stop doing that. And they're like, yeah. And then the next day they saw me and they're like, I thought you said you were gonna stop. And I was like, guys, leave me alone. Actually, that's all I would do. And I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner on my bottom lash line. Yeah, I would go heavy on the eyeliner. I would go so heavy that it would like crease up and then sometimes it would just smear at the bottom. It's a total nightmare. I'm just gonna contour and bronze a little bit more, also my forehead, and then we'll touch on the lashes. The mascara was just random. I didn't really care. I didn't use lash like falsies or anything. I just applied it on, so just do that. Oh. that's okay it adds a bigger effect to this and now blush for the lips i was pretty bold in high school so i think i'm gonna go with a somewhat boldish the only lipstick color i never once wore was black i don't know why i just could never bring myself to do it even though i always wanted to and i did own some i just never did it actually one of the reasons i didn't do this because there's since middle school all the way to high school there was one of my friends who everybody confused us. I don't know why, I don't think we look alike, but since middle school, everybody would confuse us. And sh we didn't even know each other. We only met once in middle school and I was about eight. We didn't even become friends until high school, freshman year. Um, and we started talking about it and she was like, yeah, dude, a lot of people will call me by your name. And I'd be like, who the fuck is that? And I was like, dude, same, like everybody will call me by your name. And I'd be like, I'm not her, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. The only difference between the both of us is that her hair was actually longer and thicker and black. Mine was actually really, um, uh, compared to hers, it was really light and light brown. Um, and her makeup was heavily done. Like, he like I'm talking, she didn't give up. Uh, fuck about anything and i admired her for that like she would do like crosses or like like teardrops or like everything and she would always wear black on like um lipstick as well and so i was like i'm never gonna go there because they already confused us <laughs> and if i know wearing black um lipstick too is just gonna like no plus as much as i love her she was a bad student like i don't i don't need anybody confusing me with somebody who did the things she did in middle school stories are hilarious okay so i can't find my green lipstick so i think i'm just gonna go in with the jeffrey star dirty money actually no no we're gonna go with one look that i always wanted to do and i only did it once and then people kind of made comments so i didn't do it again so i'm gonna try it again but because again i don't have any black lipsticks or lip liner i'm gonna go with my eyeliner that was another trick I had when I wanted to do a black look, like a black lipstick look, at least at home or something, um, and I didn't have black lipstick, I would use my eyeliner. And then a red. Yeah, you all know where I'm going with this. <laughs> oh my god i guess this was a mistake oh my god now we can't forget our beautiful chokers all right let's go back to the hair oh my god oh my god <laughs> and they still need to strain it Oh my god, this technique, I can't. Okay, 
I didn't realize how long my hair was now, now that I'm doing this. Oh! And you guys thought I was done? You're wrong. Just because I don't have got to be doesn't mean I don't have hairspray to use. So I have to... I can't look at myself without laughing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so now that you strain it and everything, you want to style it the way you want to have it and then hairspray the shit out of it. Don't forget to tease. I forgot how to tease. Okay. One final touch and I promise we're done. Should I add one more thing? Maybe should. Oh my dear lord. Okay. okay. And there's that. I did that. I did this and I look so weird and I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. I'm pretty sure it was a mistake, but what's done is done. So I guess, I guess I hope you all like this and I hope you all like that I embarrassed myself by doing this. Even though none of you asked for it, I just did it because I thought it was a fun idea. Um, I'm probably never gonna wear this clothes again. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what the hell happens. But Thank you guys for watching i hope you like this other than the cosplay stuff and if you do let me know so i can go ahead and make new stuff not just cosplay stuff but uh yeah stay humble stay safe and i'll see you guys next time bye